Tom Hardy, the British hunk who has taken over Hollywood, famous for always playing the evil villain and being ridiculously good looking, Mr. Hardy has turned into one of Hollywood's biggest names. What's going on guys? My name is Paloma Lopez and you are watching Before and After Transformations. As always, let me know who you'd like me to document next in the comments down below and let's get started. When Tom Hardy first showed up on the TV screen in 2001, he bore very little resemblance to the hunk that we currently know him as. Once upon a time, Tom was just an acting student who had just gotten his first major role in HBO's Band of Brothers. Shaven and slim, he was the definition of a pretty boy. In fact, it was his looks that gave him his first big break. At the age of 20, people noticed his full lips and the young Tom won a modeling contract after appearing in a modeling competition in London, England. I find it funny how it was his looks that started him off but nowadays, we're lucky if we even see his entire face in any movie. It always seems to be covered with a mask of an evil villain that he plays. And it's not just me who's noticed. Cosmopolitan even went as far as to write a funny article on the topic, urging directors to do the world justice and uncover his face immediately in all new movies. When Christopher Nolan, the director of both Dunkirk and The Dark Knight Rises, was questioned on the matter, he had this to say. Of course, Tom being Tom, what he does with a single eye acting is far better than what anyone else can do with their whole body. That is just the unique talent of the man. He's extraordinary. There is no denying that the man is talented and definitely not just a pretty face. Throughout the years, the world has witnessed how he's developed his own unique style. As he grew older, we started to see how Tom used his facial hair more and more to his advantage in order to shape his jawline and give his face a more rugged, dark appearance. He also quickly abandoned the unkept suits and opted instead for slick tuxedos and commanding trench coats that serve to amplify the dark and brooding look that he works so well. It's not just the clothes that have changed, it's what's underneath them as well. Tom, believe it or not, has a Leo knows all tattoo. After losing a bet to Leonardo DiCaprio in 2016, Leo told Tom, his fellow co-star, that he would definitely get an Oscar nomination for his role in The Revenant. The bet was made. If Tom got the nomination, he would have to get a tattoo of Leo's choosing. If Tom didn't get the nomination, then Leo would have to get the tattoo. In the end, he had to follow through with the Leo knows all tattoo on his bicep. It's not the only tattoo the actor has. It's just the newest one joining the name of his wife, his ex-wife, his agent, oh, and the tattoo of a Buddha holding an AK-47. But bets are not the only thing that Tom takes seriously. Tom treats getting into character with utmost importance. Throughout his career, he's had to transform his body on multiple occasions by gaining and losing weight repeatedly to fit his roles. In 2008, Tom took on the leading role in Bronson, where he played the character of one of Britain's most infamous criminals. In order to portray the character properly, he had to put on weight, and boy did he deliver. He stepped into the screen and showed off some big results. In a 2009 interview with Ask Men, he detailed the lifestyle changes he made in order to bulk up for the big screen. For Bronson, I put on about seven pounds a week with no steroids, he said. And at the end, I put on about two and a half stones by eating chicken and rice, which was my staple diet throughout the day. Then I'd have a pizza, haagen and Coca-Cola. So not good stuff, but I had to put weight on. I needed to put a layer of fat on my body because Bronson, when he was younger, he was a big guy, a brawler. Looking at his physique in the movie, the results speak for themselves. Following Bronson, Tom had another challenge ahead of him the role of an MMA fighter in Warrior. It's one thing to get big, but it's another thing to get big and lean. In order to look the part, Tom had to drop 15% body fat and pack on 12 pounds of pure lean muscle while also learning to fight like a UFC contender. His daily regimen included multiple sessions of martial arts training and weightlifting starting at 7 a.m. All of this while eating five or six meals, mostly consisting of chicken and broccoli. However, his successful body transformation didn't come easy. According to the man himself, he broke his ribs and tore a ligament in his right hand over the course of this training. This isn't the only example of Tom's body transformations taking a toll on his body. When describing his role as Bane in The Dark Knight Rises, Tom told interviewers, I think you pay the price with any drastic physical changes. It was all right when I was younger, but I think as you get into your 40s, you have to be more mindful of the rapid training, packing on a lot of weight, and getting physical, and then not having enough time to keep training because you're busy filming so your body is swimming in two different directions at the same time. I haven't damaged my body, but I'm certainly a little bit achier than I used to be. I certainly have joints that click that probably shouldn't click, if you know what I mean. In the time between his role as a UFC fighter to his portrayal 
Trail of Bane, he once again bulked up to massive proportions. Nowadays, you'll likely not see Tom walking around like a shredded UFC animal. After all, it's impossible to maintain a peak physique at every waking moment. But that doesn't change the fact that Tom Hardy, in his resting state, is fit and fine. With the possibility of more Mad Max movies and other projects, it's very possible that we'll see a bit more of Hardy's best side. Hopefully, with a bit of skin showing. So this has been the before and after transformation of Tom Hardy. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, let me know who you'd like me to document next in the comments down below. Bye for now!